want to know a secret. We are on a path to creating a world where man can control machine through thoughts alone. But if we can control machine, can machine also control us? Could we all become robo-humans? Initiating satellite scan. Do you want to know a secret? Automated computer, supercomputer software programming will manipulate the emotions and the behavior and the thoughts of everybody in the United States of America. And it can all be done remotely. Scientists can now connect your brain to a computer. And it can all be done wirelessly. Is this a world we want? Because it's coming true. Do you want to know a secret? The New World Order, this entire, you know, uh, control grid that's supposed to be rolled out against the American people someday, I'm here to tell you that uh, it's already here. The victim is remotely tied to this supercomputer, which uses physical and psychological trauma, torture, to map out and reverse engineer the sensory and neural pathways of the victim's brain and central nervous system. It's brutal, brutal torture. Brutal torture. Unlike anything you can imagine, you can't negotiate with a computer. You can't compromise with a computer. You can't surrender to a computer. The computer will continue to do what it's programmed to do. The multiple systems can focus on isolating an individual, group, community, or large population by algorithm. The Directed Energy Weapon Attack System also employs phased array, cellular tower antennas as biosensors, transmitters, and receivers, capable of operation from computerized portable systems as close as neighboring locations. Satellites link the sender and the receiver. You. A computer multiplexer routes the voice signal of the sender through microwave towers to a very specific defined location or cell. The receiver is located and tracked with pinpoint accuracy by their biometrics, DNA, iris, gait, facial recognition, and brainwave patterns. However, the receiver is not a cellular phone. It is the human brain. <laughs> citizens can be selected at random for horrible targeting. Using covert psychotronic advanced electromagnetic technology beamed from state-of-the-art operations centers globally. Perhaps you know someone who led a normal, successful, happy life. You then watched suddenly the slow, surreal destruction of their life almost overnight and it was completely unexplainable. The technology used is unseen to the human eye or detectable. 50 years ago, I, with many Americans, sat glued to our television sets as the church committee hearings played out on national television in 1973. Apparently, testing continued and did not stop, but went underground and continued to flourish. It is a highly illegal program. It is being abused by people who have no regard for the welfare of those people who are being experimented upon. They're evil in a way that I cannot understand and I do not want to understand. It was my differences of opinion with them once I became aware of the full extent of this program that caused me to object, to confront them about it, to eventually quit my job over it. And as a result, I became a target of this program myself. Those who seriously challenge the corrupt system by exposure face the mental illness tag, coercive non-stop covert psychophysical energy weapon torture to silence them and shorten their lifespan. They beam into my head now on a daily basis, you're the lab rat now, motherfucker. Don't you ever fucking cross us and don't you dare think about speaking out about this or we'll fucking kill you. If you are a targeted individual out there, I know how difficult your life is because I'm one too. And I want to personally apologize for the role that I played in this program as an employee of SIS, Security Industry Specialists in Seattle, Washington. What I did and what my company is still doing is unacceptable, it is illegal, and it must be stopped immediately. If you were undergoing torture every single day and every single night, 
If you are miserable because of what these people are doing to you with voice to skull technology, emotion manipulation technology, I want you to know that you're not alone. There are millions of Americans across this country that are crying out for help from their neighbors, from their family, from their friends, from their co-workers, and they are met with a wall of silence and confusion as the general public is simply not educated enough on this topic to be able to offer any real help. Also, the people who are running this program are the most powerful people in this country, and therefore anyone like myself who tries to take action against them is in for the fight of their life. This research and development program involves defense contractors, private corporations, the military and intelligence agencies of our country, private security contractors, and this entire program is of course overseen and run by the federal government of the United States of America. The United States and the NATO alliance has for all practical purposes become what appears to be a military intelligence global police state. This reality is well hidden behind a facade of representative government and media gag orders. Victim after victim after victim, men, women and children from all walks of life, no one is exempt. In what many deem the crime of the century, denying constitutional, civil and even basic human rights. Confirmed by victims reporting identical experiences worldwide. The overall effect of this technology is one that can control the mood, the attitudes, the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, and thus the motivations, and then the actions of the target. All day, every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It is a highly sophisticated technology. It is one that produces literal and total and complete mind control over the targeted individual. There are millions of Americans across this country that are crying out for help from their neighbors, from their family, from their friends, from their co-workers, and they are met with a wall of silence and confusion as the general public is simply not educated enough on this topic to be able to offer any real help. This whole conspiracy to enslave humanity is a psychological game. You're not going to sell a tyranny by telling people it's a tyranny. Today, no war has been declared. And however fierce the struggle may be, it may never be declared in the traditional fashion. Our way of life is under attack. A global truth movement unsurpassed has evolved. Victims, activists, whistleblowers, scientists, and those who worked on developmental projects for the program have joined forces all over the world. The list includes retired federal law enforcement to retired military personnel and honorable patriotic rebels of the psychiatric and psychologist field. The fact is, we go about our lives each day oblivious to a high-tech capability for subtle influence. We have entered a highly advanced technological state where population control has taken on a covert psychophysical, scientific dimension in the militarized police state. Awareness of the tools in place for the Orwellian-type technocratic dictatorship, unfolding on a worldwide scale, is pivotal for understanding the capability for mass, social, and population control. For as long as man has pursued power over the masses, social and population control efforts have been orchestrated to study human behavior. In 1976, President Gerald Ford's executive order prohibited non-consensual experiments. Subsequent executive orders by Presidents Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan expanded the directive to apply to all human experimentation. However, in June 2015, the Guardian newspaper published a leaked CIA document that permits the director of the CIA to approve, modify, or disapprove all proposals pertaining to human subject research made by the U.S. government. So you know for a fact that these weapons that you worked on, they're being used domestically today? Absolutely. Uh, it seems to be more weapons research than medical research. Um, I personally corresponded with upwards of 1,500 victims all complaining of identical complaints from every state in the nation. They're being accused of being crazy. They're being accused of being paranoid and schizophrenic to 
completely cover up what is in fact a social engineering program and a covert research and development program for some of the most sophisticated and advanced technology that the world has ever seen.